Hello everyone, my name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. When we're presenting a PowerPoint presentation in an auditorium or a classroom, we often have a monitor in front of us that has what's called the presenter's view. This is the slide that we're currently presenting with upcoming slides beneath it and our speaker notes to the side. Well, in Microsoft Teams, we weren't able to look at that presenter view while we were sharing PowerPoints. But that's changed. We can now use the new presenter view so that we can get all of that information on our screen while presenting a single slide to our audience screen. In this video, I'll show you how that works. Now, there is a bit of a warning with this video. It's not available to everybody at the time I'm making this video. You need to be enrolled in the preview feature, and I show that to you in this video, as well as this other video that I created on the channel of why certain features might not be working in your team's environment. So let's go have a look at Microsoft PowerPoint presenter mode in Microsoft Teams. The new presentation mode in Microsoft Teams is fantastic. It gives us an opportunity to present PowerPoints, but also get the presenter view that we're maybe used to in an in-person classroom where I can see upcoming slides and I can see speaker notes on my end, but the student will only see the slide itself on their end. And this is extremely useful for when I'm talking, I know what's going to come up next. I know what any speaker notes that I might have, or points that I wanna make sure I touch on. So it's really good. Now, the only thing with it at this point in time is you need to go into your profile picture, go to the, to the about section, and you need to be running the preview features. If you're not running the preview features or if those are not available to you, it will roll out somewhere near the end of January 2021 is from what I've heard. Uh, we'll wait and see when it hits all of the clients or your specific client. But if you do have it available to you one way or the other, it's definitely worth using. So how do I use it? Well, first of all, I've started a meeting here. So I've got a meeting between myself and Bruce. I wanna share a PowerPoint with Bruce, with a class maybe, a whole bunch of people. So if I go into my sharing button there, and then I go in, previously what I was doing because I wanted to have my speaker notes is I was sharing PowerPoint out as a window. So I would, I would start my PowerPoint presentation. I would share out the window was that, that was the full screen of the PowerPoint slide. And I would keep my speaker notes on a separate monitor, but that required two monitors. Now what I can do is if I go to the PowerPoint menu and go into browse, I'm going to upload a PowerPoint from my computer. So I have this PowerPoint here on a virtual reality field trip. I had a copy here so I can upload a, a new copy or just replace the copy that's on there. I'll replace the copy. It'll open up that PowerPoint for me. And now I will see not only the slide that's currently being presented, but I'll see a, on the bottom here, a list of slides that are upcoming very similar to the presenter view that we would have in an in-person PowerPoint presentation. So you can see all my upcoming slides. It just takes a few moments for them to populate. I can see that I've got my speaker notes here and I have all my upcoming slides. Now, one of the things that's very important here, especially in an academic environment, is a lot of times on one slide, I will sort of set the stage here. So I'll have one slide here. Maybe it asks a question and then the next slide will provide the answer to the question. So I don't want students to be able to navigate these slides. I want them to pay attention to the single slide that I have on the screen at any given time. By default, let's just bring Bruce over here. So if I bring Bruce's screen over here, by default, what he's seeing, and let's maximize that, is this is what he's seeing on his screen. He still has the chat on the side, so he can still come in and chat with me. Chat back and he can go in, but notice he can actually navigate the slides on his own. So he actually has control over those slides, even though I'm the one doing the presenting. So let's just move him back to the other screen here. So we're on my presentation here. I'm going to click this little eye and I'm going to disallow participants from moving through the slide deck on their own. What I'm going to do now is limit Bruce. And now if Bruce goes back and tries to work with those slides. Let's just maximize that again. He no longer has the ability to navigate on his own. And in order to see what's happening, he's going to have to go and watch the presentation as I present it. You'll notice here, for example, I have some multimedia here. I can play that multimedia. You can see the media is playing here. Now, a little bit of a tricky thing here is that Bruce 
will not see the multimedia play when I click play. So I'll have to instruct him to hit the play button, but then he will be able to see the multimedia. But it is a little bit of a trick in the current presenter view that my multimedia, when I hit play, will not sync up with what he sees on his screen. He's going to have to hit the play button himself. So that's something I'll have to tell students to do if they want to watch that multimedia. Now, if I go in, and I'll just put that off to the side again. If I go in, I can still control, I can see my speaker notes, I can navigate through the slides and control what my audience is seeing on the other end of the screen. Well, that's a pretty exciting feature. And if you're in the preview program, you absolutely should start using that because it's wonderful when you're working with an audience. However, if you don't have that preview version yet and you're not in the preview program, it should roll out to you as Microsoft releases this across the globe. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, like and subscribe. And here's some other videos that you can take a look at.